Alright, finally, finally today, after a few days of trying to figure out how to do this because other people don't know how to make good websites, I guess, I finally found a way to put your YouTube videos onto your iPod through iTunes and another website, of course. Uh, it might show some pop-ups, nothing serious, just exit them out. Mm, you don't have to download anything. I'm not, I don't think you do. Um, no, yeah, you don't really have to, but it's real simple, but this is only going to be, um, one video at a time. It's called clipconverter.cc, clipconverter.cc, there you go, okay, and what you're going to do, you're going to, this is not the main screen, but You'll see all these when you get to the main screen, I'm pretty sure. And you click Converter. I just finished converting a video. So every time you click on Converter, a pop-up might come out, but you just exit it out. See that weird pop-up? It's really annoying, but you it's worth it. Especially for me, because I've been trying to do this for days. Anyways, um, you go to YouTube. You get the video from up top, copy, go back to the clip converter, paste it, and then you click MP4. If you want it a video, MP4. If you want it in your music, MP3. So I'm doing MP4 since I want to use it as a video because I like watching what I'm seeing so continue and then it's gonna take a few seconds and then it gives you choices of quality I usually pick standard quality 360 because it takes so much less time it takes like five seconds to download right away or if you want to pick high quality I've only done one video like that but it took like five minutes and it looks almost the same thing so 360 standard mp4 and that's how much size it's taking up so you're doing that and then from there you can see the video how it comes out too but it's on mp4 and you click start please wait it should only take a few seconds and it's over see conversion time two seconds that's how much time it took up and you click download and see just more ads but they don't really do anything to your computer so you don't have to worry and then there's just more and more pop-ups but you could just go to your thing and just down, uh, delete them oh. this is always gonna happen but hey it's worth it and then download what is this okay download and you could open it or you could save it I save first and yeah just wait for it see how it's downloading one second remaining see download speed over here I'm just gonna wait for it wait for it wait for it and you can open it and watch the video or you can open the folder it's gonna come out in your documents you're gonna go to a control panel or and then yeah your doc uh, yeah your documents and go to no I'm sorry downloads it should always come out in downloads and it's gonna come out as a video and in music if you just want it as music I'm pretty sure it'll come out as only downloads so go there and if you, since you're gonna put it in iTunes, you just minimize. See, so I have five other ones there. Grab your video, put it on your desktop. There you go. And then you just keep repeating the process. And open iTunes. I already have three so far. 
because I just figured this out about an hour ago. And then some of these I don't have in. You just drag them in. There's another one. Drag it in. There's another one. And last one. I still have about another seven, eight videos to go. But that's pretty much how you do it. And then you can just watch the video. And then you just sink it in dry bottom. I'm pretty sure you know how. And yeah. Thanks.